For 15 months, the CDC has ruled the cruise industry. They've had a lot to say. But all of a sudden today, they've been asked about something that Celebrity Cruise Lines has announced, and they're not saying anything. They're being quiet. And this comes as we've had the most activity that we've seen from North American ports in 15 months. There's so much going on. We're gonna talk about it right now on Island Time. Here we go, welcome back to Island Time. First off, thank all of you who joined us last night for our first live video. We had such a great time. 90 minutes of talking to each other, getting to know one another, and that's not going to be our only one. That was our first, but we will have many more. Stay tuned in the days to come and we will announce when our next one will be. Also, we had a lot of new subscribers yesterday that probably came from the live video. Thank you for your subscription and your trust in us. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. You can see this. You can't be in full screen mode. You have to exit full screen mode, click the red subscribe button and the bell and you will be notified when we put out new content, which as our subscribers know, is almost every single day. What a day. So much going on. There's so, mu there's so much news and cruising right now from North America that it's exciting and it's encouraging. And let's start right here. The CDC, who they've come back from the Freedom of the Seas. They were on Royal Caribbean's Freedom of the Seas to check out the test crews and the protocols. Maybe they like what they saw. Maybe they enjoyed some drinks at, you know, beside the pool. Maybe they enjoyed a comedy show or a Broadway show. Oh, they in indulged in some food a little bit. I don't know what has happened, but today, the CDC, for the first time in, since I can remember, is not commenting on something when it comes to cruising. Celebrity Cruise Line, okay, celebrities cruising out of Florida this Saturday. And Celebrity has changed its protocols to say that passengers do not have to show proof of vaccination. This, of course, the reasoning is this aligns with Florida law now. Florida state law says that businesses cannot ask or require for passports, vaccine passports. And so Celebrity has changed their requirement for passengers to must show proof of COVID-19 vaccinations. Why is this important? Well, previously, Celebrity has said we are going to mandate, we're going to require that you be vaccinated to cruise on our ships, even out of Florida. They've backed off. But not all Celebrity ships, including this one, okay, has gone through a test cruise. So it's interesting because people are looking at the CDC now and saying, here's a cruise line that maybe they will sell with 90, 95% vaccinated guests. Maybe they're gonna do the 5% unvaccinated, but they've made it clear that they will not be required to show proof of vaccination. Even though these same passengers did have to show proof of vaccination when they checked in. So I'm wondering, you know, the people that have booked the ship, they thought they had to be vaccinated. If you weren't vaccinated, you probably didn't book the ship. But all of a sudden they came out now and said, we're not going to require our passengers to show their vaccination. If you do not show your proof of vaccination, then of course your cruise is going to look a little bit different. It only makes sense. You will be required if you do not show proof and you, you could be vaccinated theoretically, but not show proof or you may be unvaccinated. But if you do not show vaccination, then you are going to have to go through a couple of different things. First off, you have to be tested. You have to submit a COVID-19 test that you test negative. That's set within 72 hours of the sell, of selling. You will then show up on the day of embarkation. You will have to be tested. You will be tested halfway through the cruise. You will be tested before you leave the ship. Uh, some of those tests are antigen tests. Okay, some of them are PCR tests. Some of them are antigen tests. The antigen test, that package, okay, of tests cost $178 per passenger and the passenger is going to pay for those tests. Additionally, besides testing, 
Those who do not show proof of vaccination will also have to wear masks, except for when you're eating or drinking. And we've tried to see if that is both indoors and outdoors. We are not sure yet. I would assume that it is. That's what the CDC protocols call for. Um, and unvaccinated passengers will have designated areas to eat in the dining room, to play in the casino, to sit and watch the show. And so celebrity here, they, they expect that what the judge uh, has ruled there in Tampa, the federal judge is going to stay, is going to stick, even though it doesn't take effect till later on this month. They have said, we, this is what we're going to do. The interesting thing is that the CDC has been asked about this decision from Celebrity, and the CDC has declined to comment. Does that mean that they've declined to comment for now? They're going to prepare a statement and release it? Does that mean ask me again in six hours? Ask me again tomorrow? Or does, does that mean we're going to slowly let our hands off of the cruise industry like they they kind of have the last several weeks, but is this the first sign that, hey, we've been on board a cruise ship in North America that was Royal Caribbean, it wasn't Celebrity. We see that these cruise lines can maintain what they say they're going to maintain. They can follow through on their protocols. They have a good plan in place. We're going to give them some of their freedom back. We're gonna give them some of their self-regulation back. I hope that's what it means, I don't know. But any time that, that the CDC has been asked a question or been asked for input, they've given the input. So it's gonna be interesting to see. Again, this comes as we are, have so much going on. The Freedom of the Seas left Miami a few days ago. We spoke about that in one of our videos. The CDC, of course, was on board, if you'll remember. They're checking out all the protocols. They're checking out that everything's done the way it's supposed to be done. Embarkation, debarkation, shore excursions, capacity levels, casino, I mean, all of it. They're checking out everything. And the Freedom of the Seas made its way back to Miami. It sounds like everybody had a good time. The CDC was... Uh, on board and it sounds like initially this is from Michael Bailey that They're happy with everything that took place matter of fact. He congratulated uh, Those who took part in the test selling which was volunteers of course not paid passengers You can't have paid passengers on simulated sellings, but we're gonna see here what the CDC has to say because the freedom of the seas They plan to sell on July the 2nd, which is right around the corner how quick will it take the CDC to gather all these results, to gather their findings, and to hopefully mark this ship, the Freedom of the Seas, as green and let them sell July 2nd? Why is this important? This is important not just for Royal Caribbean passengers, but for passengers of all brands. If you're a Carnival passenger, this is important for you. If you're a Norwegian passenger, this is important for you because this lays the blueprint of what a simulated test selling looks like this proves that you can invite all the volunteers that you need to, you can invite the CDC on board, you can show off, you can prove that cruising and these protocols work, and it can be done in a three day, two night sailing, and these ships can be cleared to cruise. This is huge. I expect Royal Caribbean, Carnival, Norwegian to be knocking at the door for test sellings, simulated sellings to start in July and, and going forward. The CDC is going to be very busy. Matter of fact, if they plan to have officials on every test cruise, they may need to open some jobs because there's gonna be that many test sellings going about. We are excited for Royal Caribbean. We're excited for the cruise industry because the first test selling that there has been in North America has been a success that we know so far. Now, here we go. Celebrity, jumping back to celebrity. I mentioned that it was, this has been a very eventful week, and it has been. If you remember, a celebrity had two passengers, this has been almost a week ago, that tested positive for COVID-19 on an all vaccinated cruise. The media went berserk, all media, it was, online it was on tv 
Here we go, the first cruise ship leaves. It's not from the United States, but celebrity left. There's already COVID cases, shut cruising down, here we go. A lot of people, even people that we are in face groups with, were kind of concerned here, oh, here we go. But while those passengers, as far as we know, are okay, the good news here is there were two cases, there are protocols in place that were enacted, you know, push, push the red button, we've got to do this. And the protocols worked for celebrity. You did not hear of an outbreak where all of a sudden five, 10, 20, 100 passengers got COVID. There were two to start with and there were two to end with. That is encouraging. The protocols work. Yet again, another huge win for cruise lines in North America. It's another, it's another, it's proof again that we can't con always control what happens, but we can control our response to it. Celebrity responded to it and it's been great. Do you want another example? Do you want another positive example? Remember the Odyssey of the Seas. We were there to see it come in the same day the Mardi Gras came in for Carnival. The crew were vaccinated. Most of the crew, if not all the crew were vaccinated and they were tested and eight crew members had COVID. And once again, the media blew up. They said, oh no, here we go. The eight uh, crew, as we know, are okay. Six of them were asymptomatic or had light cases. There were two mild cases that we knew of. Protocols were enacted by Royal Caribbean that day, so fast. And there was, there was a, a more testing. There was a longer stay of quarantine in cabins. And everybody waited. What are these eight cases going to turn into? So far, nothing. Started with eight, ended with eight. Protocols worked. Another huge win for the cruise industry in North America. And it proves again, again, we can't control what happens. We can control our response. And the response so far for things good and bad has had a positive impact on the situation. And that's all we can ask for as paying customers. That's all the CDC can ask for as a regulatory oversight agency. It's a win. There's so much going on, but so much of it is positive, including this. Carnival Cruise Lines announces today that two new ships will join the family. Welcome aboard. Let's go. Of course, we, we've kind of figured that with the Mardi, Gras, the Mardi Gras class, they announced the celebration is next. We knew there would be a third ship. They announced there's going to be a third ship, but they gave me and you a treat as they announced that that third ship will be built sooner than what they had expected. Um, if you know Carnival Corporation, which consists of many different cruise lines, including one of those, Carnival Cruise Lines, um, the Carnival, uh, Carnival announced that one of the ships for AIDA, one of another cruise family within Carnival Corporation, one of those ships, which was an XL class, the same as Mardi Gras and Celebration, we're going to take, Carnival Cruise Line is going to take ownership of that cruise, kind of that slot. You know, it's supposed to be built in this slot. Carnival may be the third class, uh, ship in that class. We're going to have to wait longer, but we're all of a sudden going to get that, th that ship from AIDA, and it's going to enter service, I believe, in 2023. So that is really good news. They also announced that a ship from Costa, which again, Costa falls within the Carnival Corporation family, but we're going to get a ship from Costa who has to go to dry dock and of course get um, the, the big funnel we're used to and get all the restaurants and, and things like that that we're used to. Um, but the, the ship from Costa is about the same size as the Sunshine class. Remember the Sunshine used to be the destiny. It was converted to the Sunshine. And so we're going to get a new ship. We don't know when she's going to be ready yet. They think by the end of 2023, we don't know where she's going to be yet. But again, a positive sign from Carnival. And Carnival basically said, Christine Duffy said in a statement, there's a, there's a pent up demand and we can't meet the demand unless we bring new ships into our family. And so um, Carnival's going to have 27 ships by the end of 2023 and they're going to meet that pent up dem demand. And I hope that you are able to board so many cruises between now and the end of 2023. I hope that we get to cruise together by that time. I hope that we have group cruises. Uh, island time group cruises would be awesome. 
that's a lot of content. There's so much going on. And of course, right, we are right here covering everything. In the days to come, we're going to have some extra videos for you that will be general videos, but give you some insight on what we're doing to prepare to cruise next month. Matter of fact, there will be a video up tomorrow. I will share that with you that will have some of those details on what we're doing now to cruise next month. The Vista leaves in nine days. That's hard to believe. Vista leaves in nine days. And the breeze soon after, uh, the horizon's right there. It's leaving in 10 days. The Mardi Gras, we are so excited. We are so excited. Please interact with us both on Facebook. I'll put the link here in the description of this video. You can join our Facebook page or leave a comment right here. We are so uh, happy to be part of the community, the cruise community, the island time community. I am an islander myself. Look at me, okay? Thank you so much for your support. Please again subscribe if you have not. Share our content with others. If we can help you in any way possible, please let us know. And until tomorrow, enjoy your day. That's it from Island Time.